Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Megan. Um, I am doing a larger canvas today, so um, I think I'm gonna do a swipe. Um, I've done two flip cups on a on a canvas this size, and that works really well. So if you have a larger canvas, um, you can always do several different flip cups or one big one, but then it's harder to tilt. But um, I think I'm gonna do a swipe. And I normally like to use plastic. Let me show you here real quick if I can without sticking my finger in the paint. Um, I usually like a piece of plastic like this, clear plastic. I've also done um, paper towel swipes. But because this is a larger canvas, the edge of my table is really close to um, the edge of my canvas. And obviously I don't want any paint going on the floor or anything. So um, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that because um, when you drag this off, it's helpful to have a larger space um, to kind of wipe the plastic or the paper towel, at least for me, because the paper towel, um, you know, you can kind of drag it up and it stands perpendicular I guess if it makes sense, um, better than this or quicker than this, I don't know. Um, hopefully you know what I'm trying to say. Um, so you can do it, you know, over the table, but um, I'm not uh, always the most coordinated. So I thought um, this would be a safer option for me. This is a spatula. I will link to it in, um, the description bar. Um, cake making, I'm guessing, cake decorating type thing for the most part. Um, I got it to use with um, cold wax and it works really well for that, but I thought it might be, it's heavy, so I'm gonna have to be careful not to drag it against the canvas, but I thought it might be a, an okay tool and then I have a like a puppy pee pad here that I can wipe it off on. So that was my very long introductory. I'm gonna double check that this is in camera. So show me, a show you, my colors real quick. This is a combination of black, brown, and purple. So it's a very, very deep, neutrally purple plum kind of color. Um, I have this metallic green. Um, I think it's an Arteza pearl, I think. Um, then I've got some teal and some phthalo blue. This phthalo blue is actually from Perfetto uh, paints and it's a faux color and when I went to pour it in I didn't shake it up and it separated a bit I'm not really sure does it say what it is it's not like a um, acrylic does it say light fastness formulated use exterior uh, used for stenciling line work do, 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 mural work. I'm not really sure. Um, I'll check that out if I can find the information. Oh, I'm sure I can find the information. I'll link to Perfetto and some of the information um, on that too. So, and then I have white mixed. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure what has silicone and what doesn't. I might go ahead and put some silicone in. Um, let me see. Usually you can tell. I think my teal does because it's like, you see those little, yeah, it does. Um, I don't know if you can see. If you store it and forget to write on it, it, it really pulls away from the sides in an uneven way. It kind of, uh, it doesn't come all the way off. Um, this is so full, it's hard to tell, but you see how this one is going up and straight back down and some of it is, or all of it is sticking. So we have an obvious line. If there's silicone in there, this actually isn't mixed very well. It's uh, it's not gonna stick to the cup. It kind of unevenly starts to come off the cup. I don't know how, well, there we go. You really can't see that because this is too full. But anyway, that's how you tell. So I don't think there's, I think this is the only color that there is silicone in. I don't wanna swipe with that. So I think I'm gonna put silicone in, oops, you can't see my green and my purple. I'm not gonna put it in the blue. I'm gonna see what that does since it's not an acrylic um, paint. It's not an oil-based paint. Maybe more of a lacquer would be. Uh... So, ooh, I think that came out really fast. I think there's a lot more in that purple that I wanted to be there. Okay, did I have a stir stick? I thought I did. All right, so 
Let me stir this up real quick. Okay, so I got those stirred up. I was gonna put this at the top, but I'm not gonna do that now because um, more silicone got in there that I wanted and it's just gonna pull right away, right away from that canvas if I put it on top. So, let's just start with, the, no, I don't wanna start with teal. Let's start with the green. I'm gonna do kind of a ribbon, but not totally because we have a lot of canvas to color here. And if I just do a ribbon, that's going to be a lot of uh, um, canvas to cover. So I'm just going to put the green. I might actually just keep the green on the top and then right there. I don't really want every color everywhere, if that makes sense. But I also don't want like just um, a line of like sometimes that's really pretty where you have one color than the next um, in a specific order but that's not what I'm going for so um, let's do some of this blue next and I'm gonna put some of this up here too so we don't have that oh that's really thin I knew it was thinner than the others which I was fine with but that's really thin that's okay it'll give some interesting I'm not worried about these colors mixing too much because they're all pretty similar so I don't think we may not get some weird colors, but we're not gonna get like mud. Okay, and then I want lots of blue down here. So I really like, I really like phthalo blue. I might even mix some more of that up. We'll see how much of this canvas we get covered. I do have white too, so um, let's do some of this teal up here then. And then I'm gonna come in with that purple. I just do the purple kind of in the middle, make like kind of a darker center. This is a lot of canvas to color, guys. Ooh, that's really pretty what's happening right there. And I'm out of blue, I'm out of green, now I'm out of teal. I had these colors mixed up and I need to cover this. Let's do some of this right here. I could grab another color too. I'm really happy with what I have, but I could, I could do that. Okay. Let's just fill in with white because you know what? That's a lot of color. Um, and by the time I swipe, this is just white mixed with Floetrol and um, uh, pouring, Liquitex pouring medium. So it's not a, um, there's no silicone in it. The blue is mixed strictly with pouring medium, Liquitex pouring medium. There's no flow troll in the blue at all. Because it was a thinner paint to begin with, obviously you could tell even with the pouring medium in there, it was pretty thin. No, I take that back. It was a thicker paint. I added water to that. Erase that. Zip. Okay, um, I think that's going to be okay. If we have some bare spots, we'll go in and fill that in. I'm going to try and get a little bit more of this out just to cover these edges. All right, so let's see here. I'm going to start over here and go down. And I'm gonna try really hard with my pressure not to let it fall too heavy on the canvas. That was too heavy. Now, if you have more paint on the canvas than I do, you could certainly fill your canvas up a lot more than me and then let it lean. Because right now I'm letting it kind of lean on the canvas and it's not going all the way down. It did in that one tiny spot I'm gonna fill this spot right here real quick and go down the edge and then I'm gonna wipe this off. But like I said, the more paint you have, the heavier handed you can be with your swipe tool. The nice thing about swipes is that it doesn't, um, 
require as much paint. So if you're trying to save money, um, if you're running out of paint, if you have a color you wanna use that you love that you're running out of, swipes are a great way to use a color you love, still get a lot of space filled with that color um, and not need so much of it. Because like if you do a flip cup or sometimes even like a Dutch pour or something and you have one color that you don't have a lot of, um, it can disappear really fast and get overwhelmed by the other colors. Um, swipes, you can, if you don't use a lot of the other colors either, you can still cover your canvas. And uh, yeah, see it's dragging. Okay, so it dragged a little bit up there. I'm really trying to be careful with this. I love the way this is pulling through though. It's kind of neat looking, isn't it? Before the cells pop up even. my edge real quick. Um, I'm gonna pull up right here because I don't really like the way that looks. That green just kind of poking through there. Wipe my tool. It's looking kind of interesting, isn't it? My, my brown is sinking quite a bit and then it, it's showing through little bits here and there and then at the bottom. I love this. I love what's happening there. Um, I think maybe that lacquer is doing some interesting things. Um, I might try a Dutch pour with that or something. See what happens. Oof. Yeah, see if you're gonna use one of these, I'm gonna recommend more paint or just be really careful. And that blue is kind of pooling because it's thinner. I'm going to pull it. Let's just see. There we go. Give it a little interest. I'm going to do the same thing here because I like what that did. I brought some other colors in. Um, I didn't take the blue all the way off, but it brought some other colors in. So it's not like just a solid spot of blue. And I'm going to do some point here. This is really pretty, okay. Um, but I, you know, two-handed, I did a little bit better with my pressure, so let's just do a two-handed. Yeah, it's just at that very top I have to be careful. And then it drags kind of nicely once there's enough paint under it. And this is like making a really pretty, I love these colors. I love the way the brown is kind of sinking and then it's giving this, you know, because up here where it's by itself, it looks very purpley or brown. And then down here where the white's covering it, it's uh, more purpley, almost like a super dark mauve, maybe an eggplant um, color. Okay, and one more spot here. Hold up a little bit here, but that's okay. And that's really cool. Let's do the same thing up here. Just so we don't have just that solid green. Cause I, I was a little, um, I was being so careful Actually, let's start at this blue and kind of go up. I was really careful not to pull that uh, green off the canvas that I think I just kind of left it there and it didn't look like it had been messed with, so it wasn't looking really pretty. This is really neat. I love these cells. Little, They're very small. I'm not going to um, try and stretch them because um, I don't want to tip my canvas. But let's, I'm going to look at this a little bit because I want to decide if I want to do something with this blue because it really is just puddled there. But maybe if I look at it from a little further away, it, I'll see that it looks really pretty. I don't love it. Um, look, it looks like Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster eyes. Um, you know, there's something I've been wanting to try. So I'm going to try it. If I mess it up... Um, 
I think I can fix it because it's so different here that no matter what I do, I don't think it's gonna um, mess it up. I think I can go back and fix it. But I've got this baby brush here and I've been wanting to try a swipe with the baby brush, um, but I just haven't yet. So I am going to see what happens. If I just drag this through, Ooh, that's cool. The problem is I think it's gonna be really hard to clean. That's really cool. Okay. It's going further down in the canvas, um, but not pulling stuff off. Cause you can see now we have like a lot of white cause it pulled um, from the bottom of the canvas. So I'm gonna go up a little bit just to kind of pull this into the, there. So it doesn't look like, wow, she did something there. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Look what it did there. That is really neat. That's really cool. If you do an ocean pour, I think that would be really cool. The problem is it. Well, let me look it up. Actually, that doesn't. If I do just that one, it just gives a point of interest. I don't think it really does affect the. Okay, let's start further up. How clean is my brush? Okay, so I'm gonna start up here. Um, I think maybe I'll go this way. I'm going to be very careful not to go all the way down. Let's see. There we go. That is cool. I think it almost feels like if I uh, spent some time practicing this, other than the fact that it's harder to clean, um, I think it's something you might have a little bit more control over than what I am right now. It feels like I could, like... Uh, I don't want to play just to play, but this is really fun. Uh, it does feel a little bit like I could gain some control over it that I don't have at the moment because I've never tried it before. Okay, and let's just try one spot where I just push down and pull up. So let me see if there's a spot I don't love. Maybe right here. I don't, I don't know that I love those two little dots of green just sitting there. I'm going to try and get some of this blue off. Let's just stick it in and pull it up. Oh, that didn't do anything at all, did it? <laughs> That's stipple. That didn't really do anything either. Okay, well, now we know. It doesn't really do anything just to stick it in and pull it up. Kind of like the balloon thing. Okay, so I really, really like that. Um, I like how that made that not like just a blob of blue. It really helped that but it all comes together because we have blue kind of on the sides and actually i really love that okay so let me know what you think of that hairbrush if you've used the hairbrush um you can let me know how that worked out for you and in the comments what is the strangest thing you used to swipe with i think i'll put that on my facebook page um and group today and we'll see so you comment as you watch um, sorry, I'm filming this on a different day than it's going to post. So you can go to that uh, group or my page. And I know on a group you can search for, for like you can search swipe and it should, should uh, pull up. Uh, but yes, tell me on here or on my Facebook group or on my Facebook page what the strangest thing you've ever used to swipe with was. This should get really interesting. We'll see you next time, guys. Happy pouring.